Hello everyone and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. I'm Gaming Roy. In the last video, we uh, didn't make too much progress, but enough to where I think we we should have stopped the video. So yeah, in this part we'll be progressing more to the temple. That's nothing else much else to say besides that. And here we have a conveyor belt challenge. This is actually kind of cool. I like this a lot. Basically, what you do is you don't have enough stamina to make it across the whole thing, and this in one sprint. So they drop these stamina berries for you to collect as you run across. We have to be on the right side to actually get them. So it's a pretty cool thing. I'm kind of cool. I thought well, that's kind of cool how they did that. Um, I don't know. I don't know if they do it really that much more, but that may be like one of the only one or two at least out of. I don't know. We'll see though. Yes, yeah, so that's what I'm seeing. That's what I mean by you have to do that. Kill those guys quick, because then they'll well try to kill you, I guess. And that door is locked. We can't do anything about that. Yeah. That was kind of risky to do. I should have looked what was coming before I did that, but good thing I made it. All right, that door has a gate on it. Nothing we can do about that either. Yeah. This is the other one, I guess, too. I mean, this one's a little bit more interesting too, because this one is uphill. So not much too different, really, but still, still challenging. In fact, it looks like it go faster uphill, actually. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Alright, there we go. Alright, come on. Get him quick. There we go. Only got hit once. <clears throat> There's a later part in the game where you have to fight off, like, a lo lot of those, and I'm not really good at that part, but... I'm not really good at fighting these guys in general, but... Let's hope I do okay. <laughs> so far, I'm doing okay. I'm only losing at least one heart to them. Alright, then we got this room. It's kind of like a little maze thing. A jumping puzzle, if you will, and you just want to jump off here and just go to this ladder because there's nothing else to do. Because you can't make that jump, but you do have to make some pretty precision jumps here. Um, so you want to be careful. And there's another thing here. I already forgot their name. But yeah, you can hit those guys at the rocks to explode the rocks, so it's kind of part of the puzzle, too. And I heard another one to the left somewhere. Yeah. He's not making that much trouble though. I think they do respawn though, just in case if you do mess up, you can always try again. Alright, over here we got kind of the end point, kind of a major point of the thing. Got some more uh, Rakas up here that are going to try to fall down and kill us. And ooh, another jelly ball. And some sand here. And we have a chest with a. You got the Gust Bellows! It is an ancient mystical device capable of blowing an un endless gust of wind. If you, yeah, it is telling you to recenter it if you feel it's out of alignment. This is a pretty cool item. It's kind of like the uh, uh, the jar from Minish Cap, except it doesn't except it doesn't blow like it doesn't suck in like a vacuum. It just blows. It's kind of more of like a leaf blower, I guess. But yeah, you can just blow the sand with it. It's a pretty cool item. I like it. You want to be careful what you do below, because, because well, as their description said, they do some the uh, arakas sometimes are uh, under the sand, so we might want to be careful with that. But not not that big of a deal, really. And you can actually blow them off the platform too, which is actually kind of funny. Um, I believe that we want to get that chest though. It's because I don't know if God's in it, but something important probably. Yeah, gold is cool. That's that's pretty worth it, I'd say. There's a rack behind there. I saw it in the cutscene. Another jelly bob. Wow, we're getting a lot of these. I understand it's one of the more common uh, treasures in the game, but still. <laughs> and we do have the treasure metal, treasure metal too. I guess I don't know. I guess there's no reason why we shouldn't be getting a lot of these then. And another thing you can do with the gusts, uh, whatever this thing is called, the gust bellows. I always forget the name of it. <laughs> is that you can blow these guys and it'll hit them against the wall too which is pretty cool um... kinda don't... oh dang it fell down I kinda wanted to get near the bomb so I can hit it with the sword just cause a little bit more accurate with that really and oh come on there's spikes there too don't tell me I have to go all the way around okay good no ah, <laughs> dang it uh, I think I have to do this all over again I'm sorry about this Okay, let's try this again. 
So yeah, let's go back up here. Okay. I guess we can see it's in these sand things that we can get earlier. Yeah, usually there's rupees in them. And I'll actually have to show something off about the rupees later on. There we go. Get him out of the way. It seems like whenever you blow them, it uh, makes their spikes go away. Alright, let's try this again. Or let's, let's just try to make this jump. There we go. Yeah, a lot of these jumps are like just perfect, really. I mean, come on! You gotta be kidding me. I have to go around. Ah, this is irritating. Alright, one more try time. I don't feel any reason to cut really just because, well, it's not that far, so yeah, there we go, killed that guy. There we go, okay, almost back to sort of where we were. Alright, jump, there we go. Sorry if I'm a little bit quiet while making these jumps, that's a little bit too much concentrated. Ugh, there we go, that was close. Alright, just a couple more, and we should be able to hit that guy with our sword and make it over there. There we go. Yeah, it's probably better to hit your sword than uh, the gust bellows, just because it's safer, I guess. And this one looks important. Not really. Okay, I guess I might as well show this off. Now, gust bellows, so you can actually hit the rupees with and I'll spin, which is kind of cool. Uh, not, it's not really useful at all, but it's just kind of this cool detail that they have. I guess. There we go. Got rid of him. Come on. Oh, that was so close. A lot of these jumps are so close, but still. Yes, yeah, so that's what I mean. That's what I mean by them uh, getting on top of you or getting on you. And what you want to do here is just push this block. This is for future use, so you don't have to go through all that crap again. And I'm just gonna blow that guy off because I don't feel like fighting him. You can actually blow the hearts too, which isn't really useful, but you know. Whatever. And another heart in this barrel. Alright, let's go up here. And up here we have some more sand that's blocking this door. Go and blow that down. Some more rupees. Or just one rupee, actually. We might have enough rupees whenever we leave. I might be able to sell some bugs or something by the time we get back to Skyloft to, uh, get to our goal of 800 rupees and we can now push this and or wait can we I think you have to, uh, you have to push this to the left and now you can get up here if this is where we got the uh, thing I forgot what that was actually small key that's where we got the small key so yeah now we can go up there anytime we want and another monster claw I think we have enough now so that's good enough to upgrade our shield that is so that's cool the last upgrade of this iron shield is pretty worth it I would say Uh, of course I hit him the moment he has he's electrified. See, that's what I really hate, but whatever. Um, I can't remember exactly what you need to do from here, but uh, hopefully we'll figure something out. I'm just checking these gates and seeing if something's near them. Uh, let's see, I think, do we want to go back in here? We might want to. Hit my mic there, sorry about that. What's that? Okay, about eight minutes in. <sighs> By the way, I'm not sure if you guys. I'm gonna ask you a question. <laughs> is it, do you find it annoying that what that I say what, how much time we have left? Because I don't know. I've been wondering about that. I I just thought about that. Like, if you're just like annoyed by me saying like, oh man, he's so annoying. Why is he saying how much time? How much time he has left? Here's a button. Yeah, that'll open that door. Okay, good. <laughs> if that wasn't there, I wouldn't know what to do. But yeah, do you guys find that annoying? All so I'll try to stop my. I'll try my best to stop to do it. So, yeah, I'm sorry about that. And that button. Uh, comes back up whenever you do that. So what you want to do, I think, is just push this block on it. Nothing too complicated. Although I'm not sure if we've ever done this in this game before. Uh, I really don't know because so many, oh, a lot of Zelda games really do this. In fact, most of them do. And I don't know why I stopped there, but whatever. Okay. Now the door's open for good, unless we move that block again for whatever reason, which we shouldn't have to. Let me go to this door. I'm pretty sure this is the door that I'm in locked. I hope it is. Yes, it is. This room does not look familiar. 
And what's in here? And Raka. I didn't even finish. Okay, let's see. Nothing too special. Oh wait, there's one right here. Rupee, yay! All right. Uh, this is, yeah. Yeah, I think yeah. Using the uh, the gust bellows on them is actually kind of useful just because it has a longer range. So I guess it's pretty useful to get, use it against them. And I should have let my stamina refill. <sighs> Great. <laughs> At least I didn't get too far. <laughs> All right, let's try that again. These are some weird-looking platforms, though. I don't know. All right, now let's go. All right, there we go. And there we go. Kill him. And yeah, it seems like the Arrakis can actually walk on the sand, which kind of makes sense. I guess they're kind of lightweight, and their legs are pretty small, so they can probably walk around all they want on them. And come back here. There we go. I want to go get those guys out of the way for so you can get across here. And okay, I thought we were gonna be able to make that. Get that heart. There we go. I'm glad they had that sword slashing thing to get hearts in this game. Because that actually is pretty useful in some scenarios, like that one. Okay, so let's go ahead and try to blow this guy out of the way. Aim it over here. There we go. Perfect. Alright, let's see. What do we want to do now? Just want to go over here now. There we go. Let our stamp. Actually, we don't really need to have our stamina refill, but might as well. Okay, so let's go and get these small ones before we get this big one. Okay, some more rupees. Always nice. And go and hit that. And music change! Yay! Music change, but still the same music. <gasps> and a new enemy. Those enemies are actually kind of fun to fight. And over these weird platforms, yeah, you can move them with wind. Yeah, I knew what they were. I knew that they weren't weird, <laughs> but they do actually kind of look weird in the past, I will say. And you can't make this one, so what you want to do here, I believe, is just move it over to where you are. Pretty cool, actually. And actually, I think we want to do something before we go over there. As you can see, there's a pinwheel right here, and we can move that. And you gotta keep on blowing it until it goes all the way up. And there's... I didn't see that guy. <laughs> Alright. There we go. I do recommend if you aren't good at the stab to practice your stab. Because it can be a little bit difficult sometimes. So I do recommend practicing it. Because you will la need it later on. So, yeah. Especially in this temple. So there's nothing to do over there, so I might as well just go over here. And there's a treasure chest right there. Actually, you can identify these things. Let's see what it says. Once we, there we go. Put that away first. Or okay, maybe you can't. I guess we can only lock onto them whenever we have the gust fellows out. Hmm. Treasure chest over here. Let's see what's in it. If we can open. There we go. Open. It's a monster horn. Yay! Second one that we got. We actually do need good amount of these. I'm pretty sure we'll need them for something. If not, then it'll be good to sell. And they're probably worth a lot. Um, I guess while I'm doing this, I guess I should talk about my upload schedule. Because I mentioned that in a previous video. And I said I wouldn't really mention it until I figured out if it worked out or not. And it kind of did. Mainly this week. Basically, my upload schedule will be every... I'll upload every day... No, uh, upload a video every day. Except for, uh... <clears throat> Saturday and Wednesday because those two days I don't have the ability to upload so yeah that's gonna be my upload schedule for the main part I didn't upload on Tuesday of April something <laughs> I forgot it was this last Tuesday today's April 14th so whatever Tuesday was I wasn't able to upload because it took too long so yeah so that's why I uploaded two videos on Thursday if you're curious why but yeah I should be able to upload a video every day Except for Wednesday and Saturday, because Saturday I'm home, and I can't upload because it slows down our internet, and I can't really do that with 
other people living in the house with me because they get kind of mad. So it's better to upload it whenever, you know, nobody's using the internet. So yeah. Um, I will be, so basically, I do, I upload a coffee shop that I can walk, I can kind of walk to from every day except for Wednesday and Saturday, so yeah. Um, I'm thinking about like waking up early in the morning, and I mean early in the morning to upload a video, like 3 in the morning or something like that, to upload at my house. Not only does it go faster at my house, but you know, it's easier. And oh, I just noticed that there's a button right there. Um, let's go and push that back on. Oh, we're back in the room. We're just. Hang on. Did I really just do that? No way. How did I not notice that? Ugh. Oh my gosh. I went all the way back to where we started. Sheesh. Yeah, sorry, sorry about that. Um, yeah. Let's try this again. So yeah, that's gonna be my upload schedule for the main part, unless I say otherwise. If you wanna, uh, I really haven't mentioned it in a video yet. I still need to do that. Um, I guess this is a good time to do it. I do have a Twitter now. I do. I have put it in the description for the most, for most of my videos so far. Um, I put it in the description of most of my videos. The, my Twitter. I mentioned an update, but I'm not sure if everybody watched that. So. Yeah, um, I'm trying to figure out what you want to do. Oh, I am so stupid. There's a ladder over there, and I don't want to have my bombs out. No, 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 go the other way. Wow. That was a bad. I thought I was going, like, progression, but no, I wasn't. Ugh, man. Yeah, there's a ladder right here. How did I not notice that? Probably a lot of you were yelling at me while I was explaining my upload schedule. I may be able to upload a video today, though, and today is Saturday, April 14th. So if you see it, um, it's pro I'll, if you saw, this will probably either go up on Sunday or Monday, so we'll see. So yeah, this is a new enemy. I guess I should identify it. It's a centrobe. Yeah, it fires missiles at you, which isn't very nice, and somehow you can reflect it off your shield. But I guess I shouldn't question it, because this is a Zelda game, and I guess you can also reflect rocks and stuff off your shield too, so whatever. But yeah, once you hit, once you shoot one missile at it, it'll have these little minion things, which are called Centroed Bomb. These things are really easy to kill if you know what you're doing. And it, just looking at them, you should know what to do once they get closer. As you can see, they both have like these angle things, and you just want to hit the side. You want to hit it with this, you know, your sword of which angle it is, I guess you could say. And he'll also fire another missile, and that kills him. So it takes a missile, and then killing a Centrobes bombs and then uh it's shooting one more missile at him and we're only 100 rupees less than 100 rupees away from getting height 100 so that's good and i think we do need 50 rupees for something else too when we get back but that should be a problem i think we might be able to get that in sky loft so yeah um let's see can we make that jump that is a no let's try that again drop off. Nope. What are you doing, Link? There we go. <sighs> I still can't believe I did that. That was so stupid of me. I'm so sorry about that. That's so yeah, you just want to go all the way over here and jump over here. And more hearts and rupees. Always nice. I don't think we needed a heart, but I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention to my hearts at the moment. And there's another one of these guys. No, stab him, stab him, stab him, stab him, stab him. Yay, we stabbed him. There's actually something else you can do with those guys with, uh, with the uh, gust bellows or whatever, so I might show that off next time we see him. That's an easier way to kill him, I guess you could say. And go and blow that and open that, and that'll open the door. And whoa, okay. Um, yeah, we're going to save this room for the next video, because this video is going to live it too long, so... Until next time, until then, I'll see you guys next time.